Aloha, Mr. Speaker. I rise this morning to honor Mahina Olelo Hawaii, or Hawaiian Language Month. Colleagues, I have the wonderful privilege of being Native Hawaiian. My culture has served as a guiding light throughout my entire life, a light that has survived because of the many kupuna, our elders, who protected this light and who protected our Native indigenous language. For Native Hawaiians and so many other indigenous peoples, our language is essential for our people to live and thrive. In fact, we have an olelo no eau, a proverb that says, ika olelo no keola, ika olelo no kamake. In the language rests life, in the language rests death. Established in 1840, Hawaii's public education system is the oldest west of the Mississippi. In fact, in the 19th century, Hawaii was one of the most literate nations in the world, with over 90% of the population able to read and write. January 17, 1893 is a date that is etched in the consciousness of almost every Hawaiian, the day the Hawaiian kingdom was overthrown. At the time of the overthrow, our language was used in all sectors of society by all of the kingdom citizens, from our homes and schools to businesses and government, and even the halls of justice. In 1896, just three years after the overthrow, a law was enacted that stated, the English language shall be the medium and basis of instruction in all public and private schools. That one sentence dealt a smothering blow to our language. If you want to extinguish a people, you extinguish their language by taking it from the ears and mouths of future generations. You take it away from their children. Piece by piece, action by action, the racist, provisional, and republic government and others with influence attempted to stem the flow of oxygen to our Olelo Hawaii but they could not extinguish our fire. While Hawaiian was relegated to use in isolated spaces, even perhaps to whispers in private, we spoke and we spoke in Hawaiian. We kept the embers burning for nearly a century. So how do you revive a language? The same way they tried to extinguish it. We share it with our children. Firekeepers started private preschool language nests, or punanaleo, and in 1978, Hawaiian became an official language of the state. But it would take 100 years to change that 1896 law banning Hawaiian in schools, when in 1986, K-12 Hawaiian language immersion was reestablished in Hawaii's Department of Education. These early language pioneers continued to rebuild the fire step by step, action by action, and by the 80s, we graduated our first bachelor's degrees in Hawaiian language. And from less than 50 native speakers under the age of 18 to more than 25,000 now self-identifying as Hawaiian language speakers today, our fire still burns and it is growing. It is no longer novel to hear Hawaiian spoken in our local coffee shops and our grocery stores. And my family proudly joins alongside fellow fire keepers to stoke the Olelo Hawaii flame as my daughters attend Hawaiian language schools Punanaleo o Hilo and Kekula o Navahi o Kalani o Pu'u. While I am filled with pride, Mr. Speaker, it comes with a mix of other emotions. Disappointment at underfunding, frustration at the lack of equity in government use of Hawaiians as an official language, and trepidation knowing how close we came to having our language snuffed out. While I am encouraged by our progress, I know there is more work ahead. We must continue to raise up the languages of all of America's First Peoples. UNESCO states that a third of the world's languages have fewer than 1,000 speakers left. Language is essential to cultural diversity, and diversity is essential to our shared humanity. While Mahina Olelo Hawaii, or our month of celebrating Hawaiian language, is coming to a close, we will continue to stoke the flames of Olelo Hawaii month by month, year by year, generation to generation, because, Mr. Speaker, 
ika olelo no keola ika olelo no kamake. In the language rests life, in the language rests death, and our resolve is greater than ever to ensure that our languages will live on. E ola mau ka olelo Hawaii, amena olelo o ivi apauloa, mahalo, and I yield back.